Futures ICT is about trying to create a superior knowledge position for those people who have to take decisions uh, in public policy with respect to big challenges in society. That could be either in transport or in healthcare or in uh, crisis management. And uh, so it's bringing together a lot of data and it's applying the best models and simulations that we have in order to support the people who have responsibility to take those decisions. I think it is to integrate different scientific frameworks, conceptual frameworks, disciplines like IT and social science and complexity science. And that hasn't been done before and I think Future ICT provides a wonderful platform to do that. And also the, the shuttling back and forth between very fundamental research and very applied. Uh, that I think uh, those two factors I think support uh, big, uh, big science in this respect. No one will be worse off as a result of this project and everyone will benefit. Society at large will benefit of this project because it's the big challenge to really uh, make headway and, and, and improve our chances of solving the Im immense problems that we're facing in the 21st century. Future ICT will um, uh, assure and guarantee responsible innovation or responsible use uh, of the technology because the way it's been set up, because it's designed, um, responsibility is a design issue. It, it, you cannot start on, and embark upon such a large project and, it, and hope that it, everyone will behave responsibly and people will make responsible use of it. Uh, that is something that you have to really design into the, um, the architecture of the system, both in its governance, uh, but also in its, in its research. Um, so right from the start, the leaders of this consortium have identified the responsibility challenges. So there will be over oversight boards, monitoring uh, uh, boards, uh, and every part of, this, of, the, of the research program will have some ethics in, in it. And uh, there will be uh, contact with, with stakeholders. Uh, as you said, uh, participation will be a big thing. Uh, so um, I think this is the best effort that we can actually do towards uh, responsible innovation. That has to do with the fact that IT is shaping the future. It's always construed as a technology that is a merely enabling technology that um, helps us to calculate faster or to store more data. But actually, that is uh, a part of the truth. Uh, the, the bigger picture is, is that it's really shaping, it's constituting uh, our future societies. And therefore, we need to think about our public values um, and how we can integrate them in our knowledge and IT infrastructures of the future. How we can constitute communities, how we can um, make um, democracy happen online, and in, uh, how we can uh, realize transparency and guarantee privacy. So my personal fascination with future ICT is that we can actually embed, incorporate, express our values um, that have informed our traditional institutions in a new technology and in the future of, of uh, in, in, in society of the future. Uh, many, um, as I described before, I think the innovations are exactly that we are uh, and hope to be able to express those values 
um, in the services products architectures and in the IT in the coding and and it should uh, it should really be in every part of, of, of that technology and in those those frameworks and I think that will be an innovation of itself um, ethics and public values have always been uh, looked upon as um, impediments or obstacles to innovation. I think that if you take them seriously, they can be drivers of innovation. And that's exactly the main thought of future ICT. What can we do to protect privacy when uh, data mining and reality mining and in the age of big data is a challenge. It's not something that we now already know, but it is, we know that it's a, it's a major question of any future IT society, because in order for societies to understand themselves, they will have to do exactly that. That is, they will have to collect data on individual behavior and individual preferences. Um, and if we cannot solve that privacy problem, uh, societies will never come to a good understanding of themselves. Future ICT is a platform and an environment in, in which we can um, think of new ways to protect our privacy. We, we need to do that on a massive scale and we need a focused attention and research effort to do that. And I think um, Future ICT is the platform to, to do exactly that. So the best people from Europe are in privacy enhancing technologies are gathered in, in this consortium uh, and I think we have a unique position also worldwide as Europe uh, who's always been a strong uh, defender of privacy to think of a whole new generation of privacy enhancing technologies.